involved our new battleship, the Maine. The Maine is down in the harbor of La Havana, of Havana watching the $30 million in American interest. How does it do there? It sits there and looks intimidating. One night, it blows up. Kills 235 people. So what? The papers blame Spain. But the truth is, they didn't know what to do until after the war. The salvagers found out the whole bunker had a hole in it. And the whole dust probably went off. And we lived in a white hole. I uh, think it was like old boilers and put it out there. But they didn't know that thing. <coughs> War fever broke out and then April 25th. Congress declared war on Spain. The Spanish government apologized and said, we'll do whatever you want. There's liberals, there's election in Spain, the liberals got in. And the U.S. attacked anyway. That brings us to this guy, Jose Martin. Who was he? He was a writer. He moved to New York and wrote for years about how the revolution against the Spanish. And when the revolution came, he gets on the ship. His friends say, OK, it's here. Go fight. And he says, well, I'm a writer. I'm not a soldier. He says, you wanted it. Says, he goes down to Cuba. 20 minutes after he gets ashore, he's killed. That sucks major. And it proves if you're a writer, don't go attack the Spanish. He is much more effective as a writer as he was as his 20 minutes as a soldier. He's a George Washington of Cuba. They're both Cubans, the, the Florida ones and the Cuban ones. The war was a rout. Commodore Dewey goes into the middle of the day, attacks the Spanish fleet. His fleet is all steel. The Spanish fleet are wooden sailing ships. The Spaniards sailed out of Cavite, the naval base, to their death. They knew they were going to die, but that was their job as a Navy, and they were wiped out. That was brave, to say the least. Another picture. Manila, Commodore Dewey. I feel like eating ice cream every time I see them. Well, His flagship gets their May 1st. They rout the Spanish Navy. And then they want to go ashore and they realize something. No Marines. They had nobody to get them ashore. So they sent a sh ship to Hong Kong with a telegram back to the US to send Marines. <coughs> they sit there through May on their ships, June, July. August, it gets 130 degrees inside the ships. And finally, the Marines arrive. The Spaniards shoot one cannonball away from the fleet and surrender. And the Marines go ashore. Why would they do that? 